The second vice president of the Trinidad and Tobago Unified Teachers Association, Kula Robertson Thomas, has confirmed that another child was found suffering with meningitis in a school in South Trinidad. Similar to what they would have done in Maruga, when they come in and assess, they would treat first with the class, as that would be the nearest group of pupils that the student would have been in direct contact with, and then they would, of course, advise for others to engage the health centers to be screened and vaccinated. What we could say is that considering that this has been the second case in a week or a couple of weeks, we realize that there is a need for a level of education, re-meningitis and proper vaccination. Mrs. Robertson Thomas says that the Ministry of Education and Health Authorities are in action and have been doing all in their power to control the situation. We did get information yesterday that a uh, Form 2 student of the San Fernando East Secondary School parents would have brought in documentation allegedly from a lab that they were sent to indicating that the child had meningitis. In speaking with um, school supervision yesterday, they indicated that they were informed by the principal and the necessary precautions were being taken. The school was being dismissed yesterday in order so that sanitization could happen. Tutor says that a better rapport between district health offices and schools is needed to calm the fears of the public and to have an ongoing program of care for children in relation to the many contagious diseases society faces. Diseases such as red eye, measles and the like need to be treated on an ongoing basis, she says, as well as information disseminated regularly on these ailments.